don't like, Vada Fly gonna recap this and say Gotti caught a 30 on the John Road. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. That was crazy, y'all the game. Time has Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the fire fly. We used to rap it like that. I'm too busy getting money. Ain't worried about you niggas hanging on me. You ain't got nothing better to do with your time. Oh. I don't chill watching my every. You, you could start first and then finish last. We had it in the car, but you had it in your bag. When it start the show, high speed chase, I'm on them. I do my cardio, shoot while the whip's still spinning. It's Super Mario. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, ricegangclothing.com. For the merchandise, you heard me right. The clip will blow. I'm not talking fast. You're listening slow. Salute to every single one of y'all who watched. The live stream yesterday, 100,000 views overnight. We appreciate every single one of y'all. So I'm gonna just get into this right quick because Showtime SP does have his commentary that I'm gonna um, add to this. Uh, so check this out. Cassidy versus Hitman. I did watch it again today, just the first round. Um, once, you, once I got to the second and third round, it's so much booing and so much, it, it just is not to me. Like what I, from what I like in battle rap, it's not my preference, the rest of the battle. That's just me. Now, everybody else can watch things and do things how they do it. I'll probably get through it some other time. But for me, watching the battle again in the first round, I said it last night, I'll say it again. Cassidy improved. Yes, he had improvements. His first round was drastically better than a lot of the material that I had heard in other battles. He did have sets of bars that hit. He had some haymakers, I'm not gonna lie. Hitman, in his first round, had a Hitman first round, and yes, I do got my book. Hitman had a Hitman. I guarantee you, in Hitman's mind and minds, he felt like he had the first round sewed up. He had a remix. The bullets come spinning. The, the, the Super Mario. He, I know he felt like there is nothing in the world Cass can do with this first round and I'm sure he felt that way I, I know he did because the crowd was rocking with him I said yo I said the crowd is gonna definitely not ruin this battle he was wilding throughout his first round he did have a couple of bars in there that just was it wasn't no super crazy like I ain't gonna lie that cast a roll this is 2021 I get it this is just my personal opinion you don't have to buy it, you don't have to respect it, it is what it is. Uh, he said he had that line, uh, who going, who going, who going to sell the fight or who going in, knock the fight, in the fight where he get in one. Uh, you had bitches singing, come to my hotel, then you went to living in one. Uh, the, like I said, the Super Mario line, he had the, uh, the early 90s when I put him to sleep, now Dreamcast line. The Steph Curry, my brother, a shooter as well. I thought that that his first round was very solid. Cassidy's first round, though, I'm not gonna lie, man. Like the first first set of bars, I was like, hmm. He said, uh, you know, uh, if you got a gun with you, uh, I brought a gun with you for everyone that run with you, and I suggest that they run with you. I was like, this is not gonna get it. I was like, he has to step it up. And then after that, he actually did step it up. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, he said the he said the, the in, in in the trap like a traffic cop for confrontation get hit with a combination like a master lock like that is him stepping his shit up more than it has been in some of his past battles. Uh, the read you had it in the car you had it in your bag like that's swag like that's step you had it in your bag like he's asking him a question like you had it in your bag. Uh, I don't need your two cents I need your ears and eyes. You said you known for punching niggas. I'm like where was I? That shit was fire. The where was I line, where was I was dope. Uh, the let's play swear to God, that's more up to date. Let's play swear to God. He starts getting very personal with him. Say you ain't asked me for my autograph. That shit hit like a motherfucker. The crowd was definitely showing both of them love. Uh, my team would only come to the game and shoot the bleachers up. Uh, you could have been in the NBA. Instead you at Beasley's house with your name on the NDA. I was like, oh no. Cast. Step this shit up, not gonna lie. Uh, I'd rather go to the G League than play that role you play on Wild and Out. 
it was a long round. Cass had a long round in his first round. I do have Cass winning the first round. I watched it more than once. Uh, Cassidy's first round was fire. I'm not. Uh, it is what it is. The rest of the battle, y'all, y'all, y'all can do what y'all want to do with that shit. Like it to me, it's <laughs> it, the crowd just starts booing. Nobody really got a bunch of they like really clean. Like I, I never seen it go from a first round that that was that fire to the rest of the battle and the crowd being trash. See, there's like two types of trash. You got like. Me and Daylight spoke about this last night at like 2 in the morning. We was up. Uh, you got like New York trash, which is like the dumpster juice in the damn container bin with the rats and all of that. That big, that dirty sewer trash. Then you got like the, 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 the fucking suburb trash where it's like they sit things on the curb and people can drive by. You see a nice shelf. Oh, that shelf is nice. You can go get that trash. Some of that trash may go to the Goodwill. You got like nice trash. You know what I'm saying? Like... So some of the battle was like very good, then you had some good trash, then you had like some sewer dumpster trash, you know what I'm saying? Like it, it was what it was. But I'm not here to convince nobody who they felt like won on this Resurrection Sunday. I just want to give my last thoughts. I definitely watched the first round again, but after that it, it was, it was, I got nothing for you, you know what I'm saying? Call your lawyer, I got nothing for you. Salute to ARP, uh, Rare Breed Entertainment, I'm sure that they're going to put this battle out expeditiously. Um, I've seen a lot of people saying Cass won. Cass do got a lot of people saying, see, and this is why people are going to give Cass the win because Cass said, no, Hitman said, you said I was going to make it to where Cass never gets booked again. That did not happen. So that did not, so in a win, it's a win in itself for Cassidy because you said you was going to make it to where Cass never got booked again. That was the standard. I don't see no Hitman interviews afterwards. I heard people say Hitman didn't do no interviews afterwards. So I don't know. Cass did his interviews afterwards and he felt like he won. And the last thing I'm gonna say before I get out of here is uh, when Cass lost battles, his energy never changed. Do you think for one second it's gonna change now when he feels like he won and he did better and around the first round is debatable? People are getting, oh my goodness. You don't know the monster that y'all have created. Uh, I know people will say, oh, y'all be hating on Cat. No, 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 no. The truth sounds like hate to niggas who hate the truth. And some of his first battles, it was like, yo, he's got to improve. He's got to get better. He's got to get with the times. I felt like even though there were some moments in the second and third round where he reverted back to the uh, hit man, but you ain't got no hits, man, and I get you hit, man. Like, we already, I seen this shit coming from a mile away. You can check the old blogs. I said this shit. But Hitman played with his food. He did not demolish Cassidy. He was supposed to get Cassidy out of here. You know what I'm saying? He was supposed to get him out of here. And that's just what it is. But other than that, you already know what it is. Salute to the subscribers. Gang. Showtime SP. Let's get it. Yeah. Yeah. The Hustler. Listen, I. Watching this battle like this shit stop. He thinking, he writing these bars down like, yo, this is hot. But if he didn't know that this is snot, that means you ain't know that this is snot. See, because I was saying nose and this is snot. You feel me? That's a triple entendre. Is you listening, Ock? Click and pop, Cash. That shit should stop. And I'm listening to these bars like... This is not. All right, all right. Y'all gotta understand. Y'all, y'all gotta understand. And it, it's, it's showtime. I speak to nobody that knows bodies. Bow. I know. I know what I'm watching in battle rap. At least I know what I like to watch in battle rap. And 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 I don't like it when a nigga try to tell me what I should be listening to. Like I don't like it when a nigga tells me. What I should be hearing. We never get on this on this camera. Turn this camera on and say, yo, this is how you supposed to listen to this. No, I think of bars that were clever that a person has said and has carefully crafted and thought that it was hot. And then the crowd may have not received it well. So therefore, I like to accentuate those type of bars. I never go, nigga, you need to be watching this shit. Hitman versus Cassidy. Main event, Max out. 
I'm maxed out. I'm not going to lie to you, ARP. I'm maxed out of main events. It's not your fault. It's not your fault, bro. It's not, it's not, it's not your fault. But these main events are not living up to the other battles that are on the card. Like, I'm just saying, I'm, well, Ill Will vs. A. Wood is clearly the battle of the night, hands down. The unexpected win was the Jag battle, but that battle wasn't what you expected, but you, ex I, 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 I can't even explain, y'all already seen what I said, and that's what I seen what I said, Big K versus Clone, it was a week's notice, and both of them had slow punchlines, that was a battle, and Big K clearly won that battle, but this main event, we had to wait an extra 30, 40 minutes for Cass to come out there with the hat, yeah, 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 now let's not act like I'm not gonna give y'all the just do though. I'm just letting y'all know I'm not let's not act like that. Let's not act like that. What I will do though is I will tell you that this battle is not that crazy. After the first round, it's really not that crazy until it gets to the third round. It's a lot of issues with the battle in its own in its own entity. The crowd, for real. The crowd, I'm, I'm, I think I'm almost done with the crowd. It's just at the mod. I'm almost done with the crowds. I'm, I'm, I, I'm just about there. I'm like right there. If the tipping point is right here, I'm like there. You feel me? Like that's how I feel about the crowd. Y'all, y'all need to just chill. Just, just chill. You ain't got the boo. Silence is golden. You know the best response to hearing whack shit? Ignoring it. Just like. What's the next thing? All right, that was it. Okay, cool. That was it. We ain't got the boo everything and they go, oh, cause you look stupid when then, when then, when you when he say a line and you boo that and then the very next line you like, oh yeah, shut up, just quiet. Just, just, just. if you'd have listened to the whole thing, maybe it would have came out a lot better than how we received it. Rant over. Cassidy versus Hitman, round one. They said on my right, introduce yourself. Hitman comes right out the gate with it. And I like it, because you're trying to make it so it's not a round. And that is the point that we are trying to drive here, that for these industry battle rappers, we need to make sure they don't get a round. Hitman Hollow's debate is, did he get every round? We can debate that first round. We can debate that first round. Okay? Let's go. Let's go. Uh, he's, uh, Hitman said, which one would you prefer? A nigga who could sell a fight and a nigga who could end a fight when he in one. See, that, that's different too, because what's different when the nigga that always want to talk some shit, so some shit really happen, and then all of a sudden the nigga want to start to pop it. You already know some niggas is battle tested. I've seen Hitman Holler to knock out niggas for disrespecting his children. These are facts that we've seen, okay? Now, he said, I went from, he said, you really went from begging girls to come to my hotel to you really living in one fire already out the gate. He said, shooting while in the whip spinning in Super Mario. See, it was Mario Kart, but I still enjoyed it because it was a Super Mario game. You're close enough. It's fine. I'll forgive it because of the fact that you remixed it. It was even more fire. You had that crowd roaring. You feel me? You had the crowd snapping, and I was enjoying that Hitman Holla. He says, um, my delivery probably sicker than DoorDash, because obviously, because we understand the, the, the COVID violations and stuff like that, you know, DoorDash, and you don't really know who really delivering your food, but I just had DoorDash today. I had DoorDash, right? Cool. So when I had the door dash, I'm saying everything was cool. I don't know. We'll find out if I got the Roni or if I got the or if I got the vid. You know what I'm saying? I don't know really what it is. Now, uh, uh, he says um, he says I'm just judging off your forecast because he was talking about the other battles. But yet you ain't bringing no rain. I'm just judging off your forecast, like with the weather, the storm, and full cat. Okay, cool. No cash flips is something you gonna have to deal with. Put him to sleep. Now you in a dream cast because he said I'm gonna take you back to old three. Because old three was around that time where it was really popping for the dream cast and it was really dope like that. He was killing. The part where he said something about cash straight, he said, then you get caught up with a transgender woman. I thought cash was straight. And then he said, no, we ain't gotta talk about getting money. My cash straight. It was fine. Cash bars and stuff, yeah, the crowd was going crazy. Crowd was going crazy. But I did like the Steph Curry brother. He says, I'm Steph Curry. I'm known for the 30, but my brother a shooter as well. Mm, hitman, 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 hitman. Good job.
Now, Cass comes out in the first round. Now, if we remember a certain battle, if we remember Cassidy versus Goods, we understand that the first round is the round that we expect Cassidy to really be good because the shit I lift will knock a, a hippo and an elephant down. Remember that, right? I want y'all to keep that in mind. Keep that in mind because I'm talking to you niggas. I'm just saying, Cassidy said that we said before Corona, I was really maxed up and really keeping niggas six feet when they casket dropped. That was fire. That was fire. But you come on. Nobody else has COVID lines. We we come on, y'all. Like let's not let. Don't look at me like that. Don't you dare get in that comment. Don't before you type that. Don't you dare. You know damn well you wouldn't have went crazy for that if anybody else would have said that. Shit. Stop, cop. Get pulled like a traffic stop. Bitch, you rather shoot it out or rather the box if it's a confrontation. Get hit with a combination like a master lock. It's hot. Next line. He says, Reed had it in the car, but you had it in your bag? You making fun of Hitman Holland because of the whole situation of him having it in the bag and I blow it. He was really pulling that angle out, and it was really, really good. You know what I'm saying? It felt like exactly when Geechee Gotti battled Tay Rock, and in the first round, he said, we got Geechee Gotti versus... Nigga, why didn't you help Briggs? It feels the same way. It's right after that, the tension rises. What you want them to say and what they say is how they say it, and that's what they said. And that should be hot at the time, right? Cool. The first round continues. And then Cassidy says, I don't need your two cents. I need your ears and eyes. That was also hot because I don't need two senses. I just want your ears and eyes. Cool. Will he keep it rocking? He says, he known for punching on niggas. I'm like, where was I? Like, crowd was going crazy for that. I mean, you know, whatever. He says, I, he said, let's also... He says, um, he said, um, uh, 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 let's play a favorite game called Swear to God. And then he says, Swear to God, you didn't ask for my autograph uh, at, at this one event. And I guess, you know, he asked for his autograph and blah, 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 blah. Now, I believe that that is what Hitman Holler was talking about in the third round. But then Hitman Holler said, remember that? And Cass said, no, it's kind of similar to the same story. He did have a line about something about you talk about doing all this shit and then you signed an NDA that was hot. He says, I carried the rock wherever I traveled at because you came in how I was a basketball player and he was balling all the time like that. This is going to be a very, 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 very debatable first round. And and if we're going to say it, oh, we shouldn't have made it debatable, we shouldn't have made it debatable. Cassidy also rapped for a whole nother three to four minutes and it was a lot of filler. Is that my opinion? I guess so. That's why you're watching this video. That's the only reason why you're accepting it. But I'm just telling you, in that first round, that's the only thing that we really got to debate. Second round, Hitman clear. Third round, Hitman clear. Because he... All right. I'm going to let Vada go ahead and talk to y'all about the other stuff that was went down. It's a lot of funky shit that happened. Nobody knew about Show Out. No, nobody informed Cassidy that, hey, uh, it's this guy named Show Out. That's his brother. Usually... There's always a, a line in there where Show Out would literally try to get personal with you and get in your shit, but he's not going to do anything to you unless you make it a, unless you make it something. And now that we got that whole situation out the way, I also got a beef with the one nigga that had the hoodie on that had his head down like this the whole time. He wasn't. So if the niggas is battling, right? You supposed to be watching the battlers round for round, right? No, this nigga was here the whole time. I ain't reacting to nothing. I ain't reacting to nothing. And it seemed a little weird to me. I was wondering why that nigga was just sitting there. And and I realized what happened because after show out, then says a line back and forth with him and Holly. He then gets in Cassidy's face. Now all of a sudden there's a scuffle back and forth. Now this one nigga that was here now is here with it. Mm-hmm. 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 What we doing? Brim. Brim the is shit. You know what I'm saying? What we doing? Hmm? Please don't make that move. Don't do that. Don't do that. I didn't like I didn't like his energy. I didn't like none of that at all. But I'm still going to say it. And I'm going to go to the insane asylum for it. But guess what? Before y'all niggas come out of nowhere and be like, Oh, Cassidy got that first round. So you got to say Cassidy should have made a debate. We're not even debating that. Hitman Hollow 3 out. Is it a body? No. First round shouldn't have been that close. But after that, it was a clear cut win. Let's really talk about this. All right? Now, if you guys need me. You know where to find me. Is there any more jello? <coughs> I'm too busy getting money. Ain't worried about you niggas hanging on me. You ain't got nothing better to do with your time.